Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Disney California Adventure to go on a character scavenger hunt. We're gonna see who we can find and tell you where you can meet characters. So let's get going. We're gonna begin our DCA tour looking for some characters here on Buena Vista Street. Over here outside of Clarabelle's ice cream is Clarabelle Cow herself. And here you can meet Clarabelle. There's Clarabelle's ice cream sign. We've got a little bit of a line for the guests over here to meet and greet Clarabelle. You can also meet Minnie and Mickey in this same area as well. From here, we're gonna spin and turn left and head down Sunset Boulevard for a few special meet and greet locations. As with Disneyland, the best way for you to be able to see characters here at Disney California Adventure is to open up the Disneyland app, go to the map and switch it from attractions to characters and scroll through and click on the little bubbles. They'll tell you what characters are meeting where and when. However, it's not an all-inclusive. Those are just the guaranteed spots where you can see some characters, but there are many impromptu character appearances throughout the park and we're going to show you where those most common impromptu experiences are plus where all the planned ones are as well and the first one is going to be well first two actually are going to be right over here at the disney animation building on sunset boulevard we have to go inside for this once you come inside here where we want to take note of is over here off to the left it says character close-up anna and elsa royal welcome now, Anna and Elsa are meeting guests in here from 10 a.m. to 5.45 p.m. every single day. This is one of the longest character meet and greet windows out of any character in both parks. A guaranteed meet and greet spot for Anna and Elsa right here inside the animation building. And directly opposite that is Turtle Talk with Crush. Now, you may say, oh, isn't this an attraction, not a character meet and greet? But if you know anything about Turtle Talk with Crush, you actually get to meet Crush and talk with him. That's kind of the whole idea. So they'll have guests, um, you know, interact, adults and kids alike, interact with Crush and ask him questions, which is basically a meet and greet. Oh, it was incredibly refreshing in there. Really, really nice chilly AC. It's uh, been pretty scorcher hot here uh, in Anaheim. If you would like a video of me just walking around the park showing you the best places to cool off, let me know. Uh, I really only want to do stuff if you guys are going to watch it. So if you have other ideas, put them down in the comments. I'm always happy to entertain what it is that you want to see. If we swing down this direction, straight ahead is the Hollywood studio sign. And oh no, they got rid of it. I was just about to tell you about the Moon Girl meet and greet, but they changed the, the wall. They used to say Moon Girl there. Uh, I guess Moon Girl isn't doing any meet and greets here, but uh, that doesn't mean that they won't use this spot for other meet and greets. In the past, they've had Captain America and Spider-Man here, so uh, just, yeah, come over here and check. If you're in the area, see if there's a character about. You can't meet the characters, but if you just want to see them, Rogers the Musical, excellent place to see your favorite Avengers. Awesome show too, by the way. Fantastic. Probably one of the best shows they've ever put in the Hyperion. And that's saying something. In fact, Avengers Campus as a whole is probably the busiest character spot land in all of DCA. I don't see any out right here at the moment, but right in front of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, uh, you'll be able to see Star-Lord, Groot, Captain Marvel, Gamora, usually right in front of the Guardians of the Galaxy sign. Why Captain Marvel? I don't know. Uh, maybe she has some crossover with Guardians. I haven't seen the third movie yet. As we come over here to Avengers HQ, I have seen Black Panther, Iron Man, and the Falcon all meeting and greeting in front of that logo there. I have seen Black Widow, uh, Doctor Strange, and Ant-Man, and Loki up there on the railing looking down and greeting guests. Uh, I believe Ant-Man comes down here from time to time, as well as possibly Doctor Strange. I think Doctor Strange has a meet and greet actually over there, which is specifically for Doctor Strange. They have a special show featuring uh, the Wakandan Warriors that takes place over on that bench right there. Uh, of course, guests will have to move when they do, but then another show takes place right up here. Uh, this is a popular place for a show, again, where you see a lot of characters walking around. There's also a, a performance up that way, and you can stand over here if you want to see that performance. Speaking of, 
there is uh, Black Widow right now. Getting ready probably for a performance by the looks of it. Yep, they're getting ready because there's uh, some of the bad guys coming down from the, the ladder access, but Black Widow getting ready for, oh, here we go. Intrusion alert, level two. Intrusion. We're not gonna watch that whole show. Uh, I believe they do a Wanda meet and greet over here as well. So Doctor Strange and Wanda uh, usually over in this way. I was standing here ordering some food for lunch and Spider-Man just walked by. Uh, I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll uh, take a temporary break from ordering food. Spidey. That took place right outside of Web Slingers here. And uh, we'll show you where the more predictable location to run into Spidey is. So usually this is a more normal spot to run into Spidey. They do the show, the performance that, that he does, some high-flying acrobatics uh, up there. And then when he's done with the show, he usually uh, comes down right there. And then he meets guests over here in front of this wall. So this is, if you want a more predictable place, check the app, look at the show times for entertainment, not the character meet and greet, uh, the show times, and then see when the, the performance for the, the Spider-Man show is going on, and afterwards you'll be able to meet Spidey. Let's pop down on into Cars Land now, show you a few places where you can see some Cars characters. Over here, just outside of the Cozy Cone Motel, is the most predictable location where you can find a character. There is almost always one here. Almost always. They have so many they put here, they just rotate them out. Right now, obviously, you can see it's Big Red, the fire truck. But um, they also have Lightning McQueen, Mater, Cruz Ramirez that I've all seen here. I know they bring out DJ. I don't know if DJ actually comes to this spot. Uh, a lot of times I've seen DJ down here like doing a little dance party, spinning around in circles, that sort of thing, while he does his music. So the door in which they enter and exit the, the land is actually down that way between Avengers Campus and Cars Land. So uh, this path right here, and then down to the Cozy Cone, that is going to be where you find those characters if they're not in the spot. We are coming in the back way to San Francisco Square, and it's not quite up yet, but depending on when you come, the meet and greet with Baymax may be going on. It should be going on behind this wall right here when they finally remove that construction wall. And again, that's in the, what used to be Pacific Wharf Cafe area, now the San Francisco Square area. As of the time of this filming, which is Saturday, July 29th, the bridge over into San Francisco Square is still closed as they are adding in the arches and painting them, getting them ready for actual San Francisco Square to fully open. But we are going to turn and go this way into Pixar Pier now. Lots of characters over here to see if we can in Pixar Pier, or at least show you the areas where they're most likely to be. Over here outside of Incredicoaster is going to be our first spot. I have seen Elastigirl doing meet and greets in front of the Incredibles logo over here. I don't know if Mr. Incredible is over here. I've actually seen another spot for Mr. Incredible, but I definitely have seen Elastigirl right here. We're outside of Toy Story Midway Mania, which is under construction walls. I didn't know that that was going to be closed. Uh, is a meet and greet spot, and here comes Bo Peep, actually. Bo Peep has just arrived to do a meet and greet. Uh, but I've also seen Buzz Lightyear over here, and uh, Woody and Jesse. Hello, Bo Peep. How are you? How are the sheep? Oh, they're doing fantastic. Excellent. Well, I'll leave you to it. Right over here at the Pixar Promenade is another guaranteed spot to find characters. I mean, not guaranteed in the sense that there'll always be one here, but uh, this is where that they meet. You, you know, you won't have to just randomly hop in across them. Right here in the Pixar Promenade, lots of characters. I have seen Carl and Doug and Mr. Incredible and all the uh, Pixar characters like, you know, Wood, uh, Buzz Lightyear and Woody and Jesse and all of them also appear just outside here at the Pixar Promenade. Oh, the Green Army Men. I know I've seen them here before too. Uh, they actually do a little show, a little performance right here, which is fantastic. So uh, swing by the Pixar Promenade for sure. If we walk towards Goofy Sky School and then swing a left to come back here into the boardwalk area, uh, there's one spot that is a very, very rare, scarce uh, time that you'll see characters back here, but they do happen on occasion. And right here we've seen Donald Duck at Christmas time. 
Now, right here in this little building, which is next to the Paradise Garden Grill, this little building is a place where you can meet Mirabelle over here in DCA. They have a Mirabelle meet and greet over in Disneyland as well, but uh, right here is where you will do that at DCA. It actually says that Mirabelle's first appearance here is at 12 o'clock, which is in just 20 minutes. I have to do some other things today, so I'm not gonna wait around. But 12 o'clock, just check the app. She is actually listed on the app. In addition to the Pixar Promenade, the Green Army Men will come up and down this road on a little truck. And they'll be playing music. Rat -a -tat 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 Rat -a tat tat Stuff like that. And uh, down in front of Little Mermaid, they'll stop and do a little show there. As well as in front of the Pixar Promenade. So quite a few different places you can see the Green Army Men do their show. There's a few new menu items at Lucky Fortune Cookery and Cocina Cucamonga as Pacific Wharf transforms itself to San Francisco Square. Pacific Wharf itself has not changed yet, but we stopped at Lucky Fortune while we were there and got the Yaki Udon, one of the new offerings that they had there, as well as a Baymax macaron. Now, the Yaki Udon was very tasty, especially the chicken that they have with it. I loved it, fantastic option. The Baymax macaron, while it was also very tasty, it was also very rich. And me just being one person could not finish it. Oh, it was just way too rich. Popular question might be, where's my family? Why am I just one person? Their passes are blocked out until August 14th, so very soon they'll be able to come back into the park with me, which will be great. And then during our renewal period this year, we'll be upgrading their pass level so that next summer we don't have this problem where it's just me. Over to our left is the back end of Little Mermaid. And you're able to meet two Zootopia characters right here. See, they've got the popsicle cart. You can meet Nick Wilde here as well as Judy Hopps. Oh, here they come, both of them. Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde right, at the guys, same the time. The line is to the right. So go ahead and follow my friend in this way. Excellent. Hello, Judy. Right about here, I have also seen Carl Fredericks and Doug do meet and greets. And they have a little, um, like, hut right here, and they meet in the hut. Not necessarily just out in the open like this, but uh, keep that in mind. Straight ahead on the left is the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. You can routinely see Chip and Dale meandering in and around there. If you want to look for it, those characters are there. Occasionally, they also have special meet and greets. They had a Raya and the Last Dragon meet and greet in there for a while. It's not currently going on anymore, I don't believe. And at Christmas time, this is where you can meet Santa Claus at Disney California Adventure. Over at Disneyland, it's by Pooh Corner, but here at Disney California Adventure, it is in the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. We have one more character spot to go, and while we walk there, I want to talk about Oogie Boogie Bash, which is the Halloween nighttime event that happens here at Disney California Adventure. And if you really love characters, I mean, unique, hard to find characters that you've probably never seen anywhere else, you need to come to Oogie Boogie Bash because they have very, very special characters like <laughs> Ernesto de la Cruz and Maleficent and um the guy from princess and the frog the villain and a lot of other types of characters very obscure one from uh arthur and the sword in the stone but right here this is soren right here next to soren is a place where you can see pluto and this little sign right here that says search and rescue if you were to open that it says dog on duty and they open that whenever Pluto is here and Pluto meets guests right in front of this airplane. Dr. Facilier, I knew it would come to me. Oh, I lied, there's another character I forgot to tell you about. Right there is Oswald's tires. And sometimes over here, towards the exit to DCA, you can see Oswald meeting and greeting guests. He's not right now, but over in this area, I have seen Oswald before, so keep an eye out for him if you love Oswald. And that's it for our time here today at Disney California Adventure. Looking for all the characters. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Then click this one to keep watching. And drop any comments below if you have questions you'd like me to answer. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.